Hi, this is Vladan from SX Virtualization Blog. Today we're gonna have a look at the Veeam Backup and Replication version 9 and uh, especially we're gonna have a closer look at the Scale Out Backup Repository. So, first what we need to do is to configure our virtual infrastructure by connecting our vCenter server. I just accelerate the video because everybody knows how to do it. Okay. Now we're going to add some backup repositories. Vim version 9 will use those individual backup repositories. Uh, different manner as uh, you will have to you will be able to combine those individual nodes and uh, gather them together as a scale out backup repository it means that the software will automatically take care or of the storage so you won't run out of a storage but let's first uh, configure the first node. As you can see, we will be pushing remotely all the necessary MSIs to install the Veeam Backup Transport package and then also the Veeam Power NFS and other, other packages. As a Veeam node, you can use uh, any any storage it can be a file server with local DAS storage it can be a NAS server via the network uh, to be connected via the network it can be a Linux server and all this can be combined together added together to form this scale out backup repository in my case, in my lab, I just use the one VM, which I called Filler01. It's Windows 2012 server with some local storage. And as you can see, the services are installed and the filler 01 is added as my first repository second actually we will do the same for the other ones I'll skip this in this video here we go we have four filers configured and we will now create the scale out backup repository you can put a name as you wish and then just check the boxes which servers you want to add to that file repository you can add other servers later here we leave just the default settings for now but as you can see if there is any accents which is offline the backup uh, job automatically skips and do another backup, another full backup. Now the policy, we will change the policy to get the better performance as we can spread out which files will uh, res reside, which files will be restored on which node. So we will take some nodes for full backup files and some nodes for incremental backup files. Usually the incrementals needs faster storage. As you can see the process is fast and we have our scale repository. Now let's create first job yeah. 
just uh, take any VM. And here we can select the scalable backup repository. As you can see, it takes all the capacity of all the different nodes. Let's just do a first backup and uh, what we will do that we will accelerate the video. So we don't have to wait a few minutes for the backup to finish, but we will wait just a few seconds. Okay, here we go. So this is the full, full backup. Let's see if we do another backup. So it will be incremental as uh, Veeam by default creates uh, incrementals with uh, 14 days of uh, retention. And so you can see that the full VBK files are on filler 01 and the incrementals are on filler 02. And the two other repositories, they stay free because no backup, uh, because uh, actually the two other backup repositories won't start to fill in until 50% of the first backup repository gets filled up. But what I did, I created second job and I did some incrementals as well for this second job already. So let's check. We have the file 03 as the full backups as well as the file 01. So we should have this backup job landing on this file 03. And as you can see the file has landed there, but the incrementals, they still keep being filled on the file 02. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.